first news is out of Florida. Vegan parents starved toddler to death after feeding him only raw fruit and vegetables. So this couple, aged 30 and 35, uh, had three different kids. Um, and on September 27th, their 18-month-old died, weighing only 17 pounds. And that is about as much as a seven-month-old should weigh. So um, it's horrifying. The The entire story of how this happened is tragic as well. But what they did was they were only feeding this 18-month-old raw fruit and raw vegetables uh, because they said they're a vegan family and that's what all of them ate. Um, and then the last week that the boy was alive, he wasn't eating anymore, so she was breastfeeding him only. Um, and she said that she was breastfeeding him and all of a sudden he started breathing shallow. And instead of contacting authorities, she just went to have a nap with her husband and they woke up and um, found him in a state that he was unrecoverable from. So uh, police came to to the home. Uh, they noticed that the other kids were yellow in color, um, severely underweight. Uh, and so the, the parents were charged with uh, negligent homicide and uh, or manslaughter. And um, the other children were taken, you know, to, to get some care for as well. So here's the deal is a lot of people are asking why are parents feeding their their children and babies a vegan diet um because we constantly hear stories about vegan parents uh killing their children basically with with a vegan diet um and and i think that it's outrageously important to listen to a doctor when it comes to this stuff when you're a parent if something means a lot to you that's fine but you should contact a doctor. I, I was a vegan for several years. I know that you guys know that I was a vegetarian my whole life. Then I turned to a vegan. Um, and when I went to my baby's doctor and asked about, you know, how can I keep her on a, on a vegan diet? Uh, he said, by not keeping her on a vegan diet if you want her to be healthy and, uh, you know, grow strong and, and live well. So uh, these the parents... So the doctor told you not to have your children on a vegan diet. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and while you can, okay. And that's, that's the point I want to make here for everyone who's frustrated. You can successfully raise a child on a vegan diet. Um, maybe that's mm -hmm. if the child's body is receptive of the, the supplements that you're giving them because they can't get B12. Mm -hmm. They can't get other nutrients they need to grow from just raw fruits and vegetables. That's ridiculous. Uh, you should know better. And uh, you need to constantly be taking your child to a doctor and have their their uh, blood drawn, making sure that everything is is sufficient and they're getting sufficient nutrients. These parents did not do that. So mm. this is a case of everyone wants to blame all the vegans. Um, it's easy to do that. But this is a case, honestly, of people being neglectful um, and taking their, their cult-like beliefs to extremes. Hmm. Isn't it not just safer not to have your kids on a vegan diet and just let them go on veganism uh, if they want as adults? Like for kids, isn't it a little bit more sensitive when it comes to I mean, I don't know. I'm just asking. Absolutely. Because because you have to give your children omega-3s. You have to give them B12s. Hmm. You have to give them so many supplements. And some little bodies um, aren't receptive hmm. to, to absorbing the nutrients that way. They need it through food. So... Is it easier? Absolutely, it's easier. It makes more sense. It's 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 common sense, I think, in my opinion, to just go ahead and feed your kid a well balanced, you know, diet and let them choose if they want to be vegan or vegetarian when that time comes. And then again, getting them constant care that's important. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna predict a lot of people are gonna respond like, oh, this why is um. This is false. Not, not all vegans are like this. Even though nothing in this news suggests that this is about all vegans, I bet you a lot of vegans are going to get this de defensive over this news. Even though you're just pointing out a news that just happened, um, and ha it doesn't make any claim about other vegans other than these two horrible parents, I, f I bet you a lot of vegans are going to get defensive simply by just reporting the news. Right, I think. But let's see what the top comments are. Top comments. Top comment is saying, "Oh, it's by K K Kylo. Ky I don't know. Uh, he or she is saying lie. My two sons have been vegan since birth and are the healthiest in the neighborhood. That's so anecdotal. 
and it's anecdotal and what does that got to do with this news does that the fact that your children are healthy does that make this news a lie so you're saying look at the logic people use here like okay so my kids are vegan and they're healthy therefore this news that says a vegan parent starved to toddler to death after feeding him raw fruits and vegetables therefore this news is a lie like wh what I don't understand. <laughs> and this is and the top comment. Okay, go on. That, that's the thing is these parents were actually, and vegans should be outraged at these parents. Yeah. Because these weren't feeding their child grains, not rices um, or anything else. Raw fruits and raw vegetables. Hmm. That's it. And I know, I know good vegans. I know good vegan parents who care about their children who, who have had their babies on vegan diets. They know better than this. this they know better. Than this. Uh, so know, vegans should be pissed at this, not calling this lies. Yeah, but okay. Even though most vegans are not as horrible as this as, as these parents, there is a problem in the vegan community with regards to how sensitive they are, regards to any pushback against anything they have to say, and I think that the bad reputation that the vegan community has again a lot of people a lot of vegans could be like well i'm not like that or that person is not like that or the people i ha i haven't met are not like that yeah true 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 and true but the vegan community has a very bad reputation about the way they handle criticism and the way they respond to people that disagree with them and that has come at a major cost to animals i think because of the bad reputation of the vegan community a lot of people have washed their hands completely off of animal rights activism I, i'm not justifying it i'm not saying they should have but that has been the result and because of that and not a lot of people don't care about animal rights anymore and i think this has been because of the bad reputation of the, of the vegan community so the way that the vegan community has marketed itself and the way they have promoted their agenda i think has hurt a lot of animals because a lot of people don't care about animals' rights as much because of the toxic way some, and again, hashtag not all, some vegans deal with their activism. Uh, do you agree with that, by the way? I do. Okay. Let me see the second top comment. Tristan is saying plant-based diets are much healthier for you than animal-based diets and are largely adopted throughout the world. These people are just idiots. Um, okay, yeah, but this news does not really suggesting that, you know, we're just talk. this news is just reporting these two parents again. Yeah. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.